Hello, welcome back. Last time I reached the bottom of the ocean and found some kind of weird underwater temple and a demonic eyeball thing who wanted to offer me something, but I wasn't interested. I was just happy to come down there and make friends with him. Let's have a palette change. I think I remember which button gets me out of this. What do I like? These are all starting to look kind of the same. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Sure, let's do it. All right. Let's go back down and try something different. Water's fine. So yeah, I don't think anything will have particularly changed in any notable way. Just want to check again. Hey, cat dog thing. Yeah, we got nothing else to buy here. All right, great. I do wonder what the VIP pass did. If I were to guess, I would say it activated Money Face. And prior to that, I just wouldn't have had access to a shop down in the deeps. But without starting a new game, I have no way to really find out here. Alright, so I'm just kind of zipping back down to try for another ending, if possible. Take him up in his offer this time. I have zero interest in money. Uh, little interest in messing with any enemies. Bubbles don't matter until I take a hit, which is pretty likely the speed that I'm going here. Especially when I press what's not the uh, missile button, and I thought it was. It's just another swim button. Alright, fine. So Bubbles gone. That's cool. And there it is again. Alright, here, have some of these. Is that enough? Not quite. How about that? Not quite. How about that? Not quite. There we go. Alright, next. Right, and here I have to have to bomb. Alright, get a thing at my back. Just send a salvo of bombs downward. Not being very careful. I'm going fast. I'm ready to go. I'm being careful enough. I took one hit, and I fixed it. It's so polite of those fish to go to the background after they spit their skeleton at me. These are not so polite. They need to be dealt with a different way. No gentle approach for you. Gentleness is reserved for bone-eating fish and eyeball demons. Okay, yeah, mermen, kind of a pain. Please go away. Hey, money face. We don't need to interact. Here, have a bunch of those. All right, you're done. <laughs> there we go. I think I would enjoy avoiding, like, uh, playing this a second time and avoiding both the safe bubble and the magic bomb. Because, like, having to actually deal with the resource systems and making it all the way down here would make it kind of more interesting in a way. Because I've given myself the option to just ignore everything, and now that I've been down here once, clearly I'm ready to take that option. I mean, not everything, everything. If I take a hit, it'll get more annoying. There it goes. Alright, whatever. But it's fine. I'm close enough to the bottom. Everything's made of air here. So I don't need my safety. So, um, another thing I'm going to learn here is whether the Deep Sea Temple is procedurally generated in any way. Or if the layout's going to be exactly the same. The layout seemed specific enough when I was there that I suspect it's just static. Oh right, and there's another uh, another boss. There's my bubble. Have some of those. Oh hey, that's the dude in the credits who I uh, thought I hadn't seen. But he's present for this thing. Okay. Didn't see him do anything. That's fine. In. Zero. Eighty-four. One hundred. Okay, that's a loading screen. Got it. So sure, the color changed. Okay, right, so the that's the controls. Presumably still all locked. It is so quiet in here. Uh, uh, that button, right. I can just barely hear these little, like, dripping noises. This looks the same so far, by the way. Other than the color palette. Oops. So I want to go over here for 
Yeah, okay, blood on the floor, that's right. Wouldn't be able to tell if these sculptures are different. They're not very distinctive. So knife here, bait back the other way. Yeah, it looks the same to me. Little people, hands. Okay, but I have a different mission this time. I'm going to join the demon's side. Learn what that's like. I've already visited your home once before. I wasn't particularly afraid then. I'm completely unafraid now. So give me that bait. And let's make friends in a different way. It's possible he's going to want to fight me, like in this environment. That'd be interesting. For a second, that almost looked like a face. Kind of has like a, a nose sticking out and, I don't know, sunglasses. Not so much from this angle. <laughs> All right, I seek power. My palette has a much less red eclipse this time. Cast bait. And yeah, that removes my ability to move. The eclipse is still twitching around a bit, though. I wonder if that's what that's supposed to be. That's how I'm interpreting it, but maybe it's something else. Hey, demon. I'm back. And this time, yes, I do. Seek power. Got home key. All right. Oh, so now maybe I can go in the other doors. Ooh, it's gotten a little redder back there. Yeah, okay, the eclipse ended. My friend's just kind of taking a swim there, slowly sinking back down. All right, got home key. There were no doors that I recall anywhere except... Bah. Okay, I see. Things have changed. Probably should have expected something like this. Hi. Oh, I'm now... Okay, I'm now in secretly a hallway. The bodies of these people are blocking my way. No more side going. Guess I'm one of you now. Are things the same behind me? Yeah, seem to be. Is this hallway longer than before? No, it's the same. All right. Okay, yeah, so these just opened. Candle altar. Okay, I guess these are beds. Well, no, they're altars. Those are different. You could probably sleep on one. The eternal sleep, that is. Or just a regular sleep, too. All right, a bunch of sacrifices took place here. I get it. They didn't really clean up after themselves. Just left the mess and stink around for flies to infest. The music stopped. Or ambience, at least. Oh, I got locked in. Guess this is my room. Hmm. Okay. Do I have power? I can move a little bit. But things are fading out. Am I still here? Game over. Okay. Was I sacrificed? Was I locked in there forever? I, I'm not sure I understand. 
Okay. Just to be sure that I understand. Let me do that one more time. Gonna go all the way back down again. Uh, do I have my bubble? I do, my money came back, okay. I'm uh, gonna go back down one more time and just see if I can leave after seeking power. Probably not, but I wanna see what happens. All right, so I got the power. My friends are here all to see me. All smiling and dancing and morphing, strangely. <laughs> so I'm just gonna walk straight ahead without taking any side paths. And see if I can escape. Uh, my guess is the door is going to slam in my face. I saw that it was open. Uh, and I didn't walk through it because I was investigating the sacrificial altar rooms first. But I'm going to try. What if I attempt to leave? Yeah, slams in my face. That's what I thought. Okay, what if I go this way? Yep. Slammed shut. Okay, got it. That's the way in which I'm stuck. Okay, so is it specifically this room, or is it just like the last one I investigate? It's probably just the last... No, it is specifically this room. Okay. It just happened to have been the last one I investigated last time. All right. Well, cool. That's... Water's fine. <laughs> uh, might sound strange to say, but I feel like this was actually a little more straightforward than some of the other... Um, Games in this, it's not a series, but you know, <laughs> games from this author. Still a little bit of light I can see through my, my bars. I'm going to cling onto that light before the darkness comes. Okay, the darkness came. <laughs> Real quick there at the end. All right, cool. Yeah, neat little uh, push your luck, uh, grind for upgrades sort of game. Uh, the procedural generation did not end up bothering me at all. Uh, sometimes it does. In this particular game, it did not. Cool stuff. All right, well, uh, got a few more of these to go through still. <laughs> so we'll be seeing more of the same soon. I'll see you then.